Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to row. It's your girl Keonti and I couldn't help myself. I was doing other signs and I just had to get one in for us. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Pisces, the baby shark, sun, moon, rising, Venus. If you're cross-watching for the Pisces, it can resonate from your perspective, meaning it will probably resonate from your end, okay? It is a general read. All messages won't resonate for every Pisces on the planet. If I get it right for you, make sure to give me the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. If you're interested in booking me, my email information is provided in the description box below. All right, baby sharks, let's go ahead and get into it. While I'm shuffling and getting ready, some of you really don't understand the uh, concept of a general read, right? I see a lot of comments. Wait, who is this happening to? Well, it didn't happen. Well, this is a general read, okay? This is not a private read. This is general. This is general energy for the Pisces, right? It's going to be it's going to be different things pertaining to each and every one of us. None of this is going to be exactly anyone's story because it is general. If you're interested in hearing particular about your life, you would have to book me for a private reading. That is when I am specifically reading for your energy, okay? And you and you alone. All right? Let's see what we got going on, baby sharks. Let's see what's going on here. What's the incoming energy for Pisces? Incoming for Pisces. Five of Swords. Ooh, some sort of conflict here. Two of Wands. I feel like there's a decision that needs to be that 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 needs to be made, an action that needs to be taken. But there's a, a, either a mental conflict about it. I hate to say this because someone just told me this, but I know some of you are going to bump into somebody you didn't want to see. You're going to be surprised by somebody that you didn't want to see, or vice versa. But there is some sort of conflict here. Whether it's mental or if this is dealing with more people, but it's about some sort of action being taken, right? The Ace of Wands is already here. The spark is already here. But now what? What do we do with this spark, right? There's something here about a mental conflict concerning making some sort of decision or taking some sort of action here, Pisces. Mm. What's crossing this Five of Swords for the Baby Sharks? What's crossing this energy for the Pisces? What's crossing this energy? The Four of Wands. There's something here about union, Equal work, equal partnership here, right? Ooh, the high priestess. So, Pisces. The high priestess is definitely us. It's feminine energy, uh, for sure. Feminine Pisces energy. Some of you are definitely conflicted about a situation dealing with union and partnerships. You're trying to use your intuition. I see some of you searching your emotions and you're doing soul searching about an energy of dealing with the partnership, right? The four of wands is equal, give it equal, uh, a, a perfect union because there's equal work being put into it, right? Everyone's putting in an equal amount of work for a situation to work. And Pisces, you're using your intuition about this. I feel like this could definitely be something that you're not speaking about, right? This is something that you're silently thinking and it could definitely be having you mentally conflicted here, right? Or something that a high refine. Yeah, it definitely feels like issues of dealing with commitment, long-term stability, marriage, Right? Belief systems and values and shit like that, right? Yeah, Pisces. You could be dealing with a Taurus. What's the desire here for the baby sharks? What's the desire here for Pisces? The Knight of Swords. Some sort of action to be taken. Pisces, the desire here is some sort of action to be taken. Some sort of communication to come in or some sort of swift and decisive action to be taken here, for sure. Some of you, some of you you're uh, desiring... A definite answer, a definite decision, whether it's yes or no, right? Four Pentacles, yeah. Yeah. I definitely feel like, Pisces, there's this conflict here because as far as the, the as far as communication, it hasn't came in yet. Four Pentacles. Something is being held back or delayed. Somebody is holding off on saying something. Somebody is holding back on saying something. You could definitely be waiting on some money here, right? In order for you to do something dealing with your home, right? But it's being held back. I feel like, Pisces, however this is going, it feels like you are desiring to know something either way. I just want to know either way, right, Pisces? Yeah, that's how I'm feeling, right? Let's see what's at the root of this, what you don't see. The page, <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles. Definitely could be dealing with an earth sign. I feel like whatever this is going, whatever this is, Pisces, however this is resonating for you, there's definitely matters of long-term uh, stability at play here with the knight of pentacles but i feel like this is also something that is very slow moving here this 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 particular knight his feet aren't even moving do you see this knight of pentacles his legs he's not doing anything this knight is taking action this knight is clearly taking action this knight isn't doing a damn thing right 
So I feel like what you're desiring here is, like I said, you want to know something either way. Because I do feel like long-term um, stability and shit like that, your coins is involved, right? Your comfort is involved here. But I feel like the answers, are, what, you, what, in the root of this and what you don't see, you, you're not getting the answer yet. I feel like you want to know either way. The high refine, yes, some of you are definitely dealing with a tourist, or this is something dealing with a job, or this is something dealing with contracts. This could even be dealing with a marriage and a long-term uh, commitment here, Pisces. You're conflicted about it. You want action to be taken either way. I feel like if it, whether it's bad or good, you want some action because it's slow moving here. Let's see what was going on in the past for Pisces. What was going on in the past here for the baby sharks? Yeah, I feel like it's slow motion and it's driving you crazy, Pisces. I don't know what that's about, but that's how it feels like. The Five of Cups. See, Pisces, in the past you were disappointed. Yep, the Knight of Wands. Like, I feel like, Pisces, in the past you were disappointed. I feel like you're conflicted here about a union or about a partnership because in the past you were disappointed. I feel like things could have moved slowly in the past and it didn't go in your favor. And you could definitely be afraid that if you allow something to slow drag or move slowly again, that you're going to be disappointed because with the Knight of Wands, you're dealing like something could feel like it's going to be just something that's going to be just out of reach, right? And you're disappointed and you're having a mental conflict about this, right? Or Pisces, to be honest, with the Five of Cups, it be being in the past position. You could be you could have been disappointed in the past because you were hot and hot you're hot and ready. The Knight of Wands, yeah. The hangman and justice. It feels like in the past, Pisces, you were disappointed by something. You could have been dealing with someone who was very flighty, very reckless, someone who kept you on hold, someone who didn't do right by you, right? Or in the past, you were disappointed because you were very much ready. You were very much ready to rush in and take some action, but you you you, you were you were held up and delayed with the hangman and justice. For some of you, it could be a legal thing. I know it's legal with justice here, right? I just feel like however this is going in the past, you were disappointed because you didn't get your due, right? You didn't get justice in the situation. Yep, yeah, well, of course, you could definitely be dealing with a, 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 a Sagittarius. Yep, yeah, I feel like in the past, something didn't go in your favor and you had to walk away for sure. And I feel like this is why you're anxious about something right now, right? Because it feels like you want to know something either way, yay or nay, right? That's how it feels, Pisces, because you were disappointed in the past. And I feel like it's because you don't want to be disappointed again. I just rather know, right? What's the future energy here for the baby sharks? What's the future energy for the baby sharks? The page of wands. There is some sort of co communication or... um. Offer coming in. Some of you could have to be dealing with a younger fire sign. This could be a situation dealing with children here, right? I do feel like there's getting ready to be some sort of offer. It's in the baby phases because it's coming up as a page, right? It's an opportunity here that's coming in, right? If this is not a situation dealing with children, strength, you could definitely be dealing with a Leo or a younger fire sign, right? Pisces, some of you, you could be dealing with someone who you see is kind of emotion, uh, kind of immature. You could be, uh, for some of you, I see you kind of having to hold your tongue, right? And kind of tame yourself. I feel like some of you are definitely holding back from saying something here to someone, right? You might be a Pisces. You may not want to hurt someone's feelings and you having to catch yourself about saying something. I see that for some of you. I see some of you having to definitely be, pre like, like be very persistent and tame yourself about this situation. You're taming yourself. I feel like you're refraining, Pisces, right? You're refraining. Yep, Ten of Pentacles is definitely dealing with something with home, long term, long term commitment, family issue, and shit like that, for sure. Let's see what your energy is. What's the baby shark's energy in this read? The Three of Swords, yeah. Could definitely be some third party shit going on here, Pisces. I feel like that's why this Five of Swords is here. If it's not third party shit, Pisces, you're disappointed here. You're hurt and you're sorry about this situation. You're not happy about this right now. Ten of Swords, yeah. Because I feel like this is what you want. You want something to be over. Either, like I said, either way, good or bad, it feels like I just want to know either way, right? I'm ready for some sort of action to come in and be taken because I want to know either way what's happening. This shit is moving very slowly here. I've been disappointed in the past. I, I'm I'm ready for some sort of new opportunity or new beginning. I'm ready for for this energy, the ten of swords, this three of swords. I'm ready for whatever is bothering me, Pisces. You know what it is better than me. You're ready for this to be over with the ten of swords. Yep, seven of wands. You're definitely standing your ground. You're ready for some shit to be over. And you could definitely be dealing with soulmates or something that you put your all into. You could definitely be tired of feeling vulnerable in the situation, Pisces. Mmm, very interesting. 
Pisces, for some of you, somebody could be ready to sabotage a, situ a, a relationship. Somebody could be ready to sabotage a relationship, a long-term relationship. Mm. Let's see what your external source is or your person's energy. What's the person, what's, what's Pisces' person or external source energy in this situation? Page of Pentacles. Here's, here's another page. If this is not dealing with children, you could definitely be dealing with someone that is younger. You could be dealing with someone that's immature or there's getting ready to be a new opportunity or something new coming in, but it's in the baby phases. This is happening at a small pace, and I feel like this is why it's pissing you off, Seven of Wands. Yeah, it feels like a reluctance. It feels like an offer coming in that you could have either had a fight for, you could have blocked somebody, right? It feels like a reluctant offer here, right? Mm -hmm. Some of you could definitely be making a decision dealing with children. You could definitely be in a legal battle concerning children. You could definitely be wanting to start something new here. But having to stand your ground and fight for it. Right? Yep, the lovers, you could definitely be dealing with a Gemini on Earth sign. There, there is an offer coming in, but it feels like a reluctant, hard fought offer, right? Let's see what the fears is in this situation for Pisces. What's the fears in this situation? What's the fears here for the baby sharks? The Four of Cups. Pisces, you are worried or afraid that you're going to be bored and discontent with an offer. I feel like you could definitely be feeling like you're over a situation. It, I, somebody could be fearing that you're over them. I got to tell you. Someone could be fearing that you're over them, that they took too long, right? Someone could be in another situation and they're conflicted on how to get out and take action because they could, they could be afraid that you're over them and they took too long, right? Or Pisces, you're afraid that whatever offer that comes in in this situation, whatever ends up happening, you're going to be disappointed here. For sure, you could be afraid that you're going to get some sort of rejection here. Or you're afraid that when you get an offer, it's going to be disappointing, right? And you're going to be over it. King of Cups. There we go. But you could be dealing with the cancer, another Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. That's some masculine energy. Something here with a soulmate connection, Pisces. There's a King of Cups and a Two of Cups and an Ace of Wands. There is some sort of new opportunity that's coming in here, Pisces. There could be a masculine energy that is rejecting something and coming towards you. You could be rejecting someone because you have someone that you want to go towards. I do have an offer and an opportunity. King of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Wands. There is something coming in here, Pisces. Let's see what your outcome is here. What's the outcome? Okay. The Hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Someone is doing deep introspection here. Ten of Swords. Pisces, I feel like what's happening here, I feel like, I feel like someone here is definitely conflicted with the five of swords or they even considering sabotaging a union here what they want is some sort of action to be taken here someone wants to know something either way here right because something that's been going on a long time or it's take is going really slowly in the past someone was definitely disappointed with this situation could even been heartbroken in the past and this is why someone wants to fucking know either way right the future energy is some sort of com communication coming in some sort of new opportunity baby phases though for sure Pisces the way you feel about it is you're hurt you're not happy about the situation, but there is an offer coming in. Someone is afraid that they're going to either be rejected or it's not going to be good enough. The outcome here is someone doing deep introspection, looking at something through all uh, at every angle because there is getting ready to be something that's over. The worst of something is over with the Ten of Swords. And look, there's victory and success. So yeah, you could be dealing with a, air, a fire sign or a Capricorn. There is something here about ego. You could be dealing with someone with an ego. You could be dealing with someone with an addiction problem. You could be dealing, there could be something that's just extremely stressful and toxic about a situation. This could be stressing you the fuck out. But I see victory and success coming in over this. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Gemini, you're a Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Scorpio, there's something going on with the masculine energy here. Magician, the King of Swords, Death, there's an internet transformation happening with the masculine energy. And I do see a feminine energy getting some sort of offer here and some sort of blessing. Put this shit where this goes, Pisces. Let me know if it resonates. Again, I thank you guys for taking the time to watch my videos. I thank you for the likes, comments, subscribes, and shares. If you're interested in booking me, please email me. Take care of yourselves, take care of your families, and I'll bring you messages soon, baby sharks. I love you to pieces. Bye-bye.